Howdy, friends, and happy Friday to you, or at least it would be if it wasn't so hot outside in the afternoon time. I'm meteorologist Chris Martin. We have heat advisories across the board today. In fact, for uh, our eastern New Mexico counties, all the way here into the Panhandle and Oklahoma Panhandle, with high temperatures from 105 to 109 until at least 8 p.m. tonight. Very hot conditions. Excessive heat warning in effect Fort Paldera Canyon for a high today of 111, which is what they got to yesterday down in the canyon. So please take extra precaution for today and drink plenty. Any more water, and if you do have to work outside, stay out of the heat as much as possible. Take frequent breaks if you are going to be outdoors, whatever your activity is. Hereford 104 today, breaking the whole rec old record of 103 going back to 1940. Here in Amarillo, we'll break the old record of 103 going back to 1927. Pampa, five degrees above your record going back to 2011, and Childress at 110 for this afternoon. Pretty rough stuff to be out and about. Once again, if you start to feel dizzy or lightheaded, that is your body telling you you need to take a break. So, again, make sure you are. Uh, not uh, exerting yourself too much in the uh, middle of the day or the afternoon as well. 99 degrees coming up at 12 p.m. Winds a bit more breezy from the southwest at 15 to 20 miles per hour. 105 again here in Amarillo and a few high clouds in the morning time, a few cumulus clouds in the afternoon, and there will be the chance for a thunderstorm or two up around southwestern Kansas for today. A little bit of energy left over in that part of the area, and the upper level winds will drag most of that activity off towards the east. So the rest of the Texas Panhandle will stay dry for this afternoon. 107 degrees out towards Tucum Carry 104 at Hereford and Tulia, and 107 out around Clarendon for the afternoon time. And this oppressive heat continues on into the weekend. Temperatures actually dropping a little bit, if you will, on Saturday and Sunday. Well, the possibility of rain dries up considerably, then returns in full force by Monday. We're talking a summertime frontal boundary moving in, puts us back to the 80s and the lower 90s, and much improved conditions, as a matter of fact. And we'll see afternoon showers and storms popping up once again. And more supply will be with us through most of next week to keep that rain chance going through at least Wednesday or Thursday afternoon as well. So some good news, some relief is in sight, but we have several hot days to get through before we get around to that time period. So hope you stay safe and stay cool this weekend, folks. Thanks for clicking on MyPlanes.com.